Hey guys, I'm Vita Simbalane and I'm part of the team here, which is Bay Baptist Church. Um, today's Faith Cliff video, we are speaking on, we're currently speaking on the fruits of the Spirit and we're speaking of love today. Um, I'm just going to kick it right off and we're going to start off with 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I'm going to read verse 1, 2, and 3, which goes as follows. What if I could speak all languages of humans and of angels? If I did not love others, it would be nothing more than a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. What if I could prophesy and understand all secrets and all knowledge? And what if I had faith that moved mountains? It would mean nothing unless I loved others. What if I gave, sorry, what if I gave away all that I owned and let myself be burned alive? I would gain nothing unless I had loved others. So, um, I'm just going to be very gentle today. I'm thinking of uh, the topic of, of, of love, uh, biblically. So first and, and, and foremost, uh, the, besides this verse, we just think of Jesus' love for the world and, and God's love for the world that he gave his only son to come die for, for my sins, for your sins, for, for all our sins. That is a perfect example of love. And as this uh, uh, scripture says, it says, you know, basically, no matter what you do out of good, you can serve people, you can work in a church, and you can, you know, wash the pastor's car or whatever is, is, is necessary for you to feel that you have done something good. If you continue doing all those things, but you do not love others, then it is useless. And that's my take on it. Um, so, and, and by others, I mean your friends, your family, and your enemies. So let us practice this. Let us practice how to love truly and honestly, just as God loves us, just as God had loved us enough to give his only son, just as he continues loving us today, despite the fact that we're sinners and we're born into sin. It's pretty general. It's pretty, I think it's a topic that is very subtle when people speak about it it's just ah love is love but actually it's it's very easy to do so and very complicated at the same time but we must understand that scripture says it's necessary so just want to pass on this message to you guys i want to say love one another and make sure that your love is love that comes from an honest place thank you very much